Hello guys, welcome back to Sea Fishing Cumbria. Today I'm just going to make some uh, some basic pulley rigs for rough ground fishing. Looks closer to it. For, uh, for uh, rough ground fishing, and I use them on beaches as well. Um, I'll give you a talk through of what type of gear I use in terms of the, the, the swivels and the terminal tackle and things like that. Um, for people who obviously know how to make pulley rigs, it's you probably want, well, you're not going to learn anything from it, I guess. So, um, it's pre pretty much just for people who's new beginners, really, and um, who are new to fishing. That basically, if you want to learn how to make a basic pulley rig, I'll, it, it, I'll try and show you today. Um, so, uh, the line that I'm actually using for the body of the pulley rig is an um, 80 pound ASO line, 195 meters. I got that out of um, Cumbria Guns and Tackle. I think it was about I think it was 12 pounds something like that I can't quite remember exactly um the other day I um, I bought some trialing big game off eBay off uh, with a friend recommended and um it's a hundred pound break and strain I think it was about 17 pounds um hello easy my dogs here <laughs> um I think that was 17 pound on eBay but it's a hundred pound break and strain reason being is why I bought it because the past few weeks I've been getting off well getting been getting bit off by some decent eels where I've been fishing on the local marks. Um, the, 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 the decent one that I actually landed, that was hooked in the bottom of the jaw, so I, it had no chance of biting the line off, but I was using 80 pound asso line on the hook length, and I was still getting bit off. I mean, some of the fish I actually did pretty much beat, but when you got them to the surface and they were spinning, big like, you're talking fish between, I don't know, 12 to 15 pound and the spinning and the, the this much, pulling out the rough ground as well, they're just absolutely butching the line and they're sna just snapping it like. Um, so yeah, um, so that was a nightmare, but hopefully um, this line can sort it out, but um, the weather's starting to go cold now, so um, I think the eels will start backing off um, and you'll probably start seeing more coddling, hopefully, so uh, that'll be, um, hello, hopefully that'll, uh, that'll be all right. So then, I'll take, I think what I'll do is I'll do a demonstration, I'll make maybe three pulley rigs and um, so hopefully um, people will get a, a grasp of what I'm doing. So basically I will probably use, snap that bit off because that's a bit kink, kinked up that line I should say. <clears throat> so I'll maybe use about, what's that, about maybe 15 inch or something like that, maybe a bit longer for uh, 80 pound that's all line snip that off <clears throat> I use a Gemini bear clip, I don't know if you can see the clip there I like these clips because they're a great clip for um, clipping your bait on as you can see they're a little bit um, they can't move like these bits here so like sometimes, very rare mind, very rare that the sinker sometimes comes off but um, they are um, 95% reliable like for you um for your singer to stay on so yeah so what I'll do is this is how my granddad taught me as well actually so just put the line through like that you go around one two three four five six seven through the loop pull it solid I wet the line because Apparently um, the line can get hot or something like that if you don't um, put water or saliva on it and sometimes it can snap. So I'll just wait like that, pull it tight, snip that little bit of line off. That's off there like that, probably flew somewhere in the room. And there we go, there's a nice knot. That won't, bear. That won't snap off by your main lap. See, on rough ground as well, people... I used to, back in the day, I used to use a lot of, I used to use rotten bottoms, but I was losing way too many sinkers and it was costing too much money, like, losing sinkers all the time, so I, these days I just, I just, I don't fish rotten bottoms, I just clip it, my sinker to that and away you go. Um, to be fair, nine times out of ten, if you're getting snagged on the rocks, it's your hooks. Um, what you find is if you get a fish on, um, you don't really get snagged, you can just feel your fish bumping over the, over the, all, the all the rubbish on the bottom, all the kelp and the, and the rocks, so that's not too bad and um, these beads i don't know i don't know what these beads are beads are bead to me so it's a little orange bead it doesn't matter what color they are and that goes on like that <clears throat> i think these are are these sakuma barrel swivels i think these are 
I'm not sure what Pacific, Pacific size they are, but they're um, a heavy, um, a heavy uh, swivel eye or eye fish heavy on, on rough ground. I'm, I'm very, very, very rough, like very rough in terms of what I use. Heavy and very heavy because you don't know what you can pull out of them rocks like. Another bead goes on like that. Another barrel swivel out the pocket. And again, it's just like that. See, I'm crack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that, through the loop. Same again, bit of saliva, pull it through tight like that. And there you go. Okay, where's the knot at? There's the knot. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There's the knot. I might, um, I might just leave that thing. That bit of line tag there, as you can see, because I like leaving tags on them. Because if you do get a decent fish on, I my knots don't fail like don't. <laughs> but um, if I do get a decent fish on, and it, you're not, he's gonna slip just a tiny fraction. At least you, it's not gonna pull out because you've still got all that tag there. And then now I'm gonna actually use this Sakuma 100 a hundred pound uh, line trial in big game. I've never used it before, so this is the first for me. Hopefully the knots will um, be great. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Through like that. This might hurt my hands this likely. This pound of line. Jesus. That's heavy line, that like. <laughs> but um they're not so right anyways, as you can see. Great stuff. No, I will snip that off because that's a big bit of a tag that and then so what I do is I get my swivel I put it to the top of the pulley rig I get the line like this and I pull it down to where my hook's going to clip onto like so so that's where my hook that's where my hooks are going to clip onto when I cast so I'll just measure it up like that get the scissors snip it off like that and now my hooks I am going to use today. I am going to use my three or Sakura Manta extra hooks. I like two oars, but there's no two oars in the shop at the minute, so I will make do with three oars like that. So, what you do is with panels, anyways, any pe if you're new to fishing as well, this is that panel rigs as well. That goes down, and then the top one, this gets tied on. Same crack again. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, around like that. Goes through like that. Wet it. And pull like that. That's a great knot. <laughs> there you go. I'm surprised that um, I can actually tie this stuff with my hands. Great stuff. If I get snagged with this, like Jesus, it's gonna be an absolute nightmare with the hooks to pull it out the snag, Christ. So, um. This panel is going to come down like that. It's going to sit there. And what you do is when you cast, obviously I've just said, for example, you put your bait on, blah, blah, blah. This will twist around and you'll stab that into your bottom part of your bait. And then to cast, that clips to there, like so, to my Gemini um, swivel. Pull the rig up like that and there you go. I don't know if you can see that. There's your pulley rig. And now, depending on how far you cast up, to be fair, I'm not a great caster. I can look at if I can get a bit 100 yards, like, um, because the type of fishing I do, you're just chucking anything between 20 to 60 yards, maybe, over the rock. Some areas, the rock can go further out. Some areas, the rock come late. It's like maybe 20 yards, and it's on the sand. It's various distances where I fish uh, where, where the rock is. I like fishing in amongst the heavy stuff, but um, but there you have it, there's the first one done. Uh, nice and streamlined. So I'll just put that to one side. I think tonight I need to make, I've got two in my bag already. I need eight in total, so that's another, how many more do I need? I've swivels have I got here? One, two, three, four, five. So I need to make another six traces. But um, I'll take you through another trace because there's no point in me um, banging on doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. So I'll take you through one more just so um, I'm don't bore you too much. Same crack again. About 15, 
odd inch of line. Cut it off. Your Gemini swivel bear clip again. Put that on there. One, two, three, five, six, seven. There you go. My oh, bloody hell, really popped out. Put it through like that. Sliver. Put it oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Tight like that. There we go. Nicely knotted. Flip that off. Just put all my trimmings to the side that I don't need. Not in faded if I can get one. Ah, yeah, these little wavings are a nightmare to pick up, like, absolute nightmare. So you put that on like that. Barrel swivel. Another bead. And then the barrel swivel goes on here. Around six, between six and seven times, ideally. Is I'm not sure what this knot's called, by the way, it's just what my granddad told me what to use, so I've used it since I was a little, little lad, so it's always been a reliable knot, like, I, know, I don't know any of it, not for a trace, to be fair, but there you have it, it tasted weird, that line, but, <laughs> so, and then my me, um, me brand new Sakuma, 100 pound line, that's uh, Sakuma, Try lane big game, I should say. One, two, three, five, six, seven. There you go. Lovely, not that. It's probably the best one. Any fish that um well to be fair, I have them um, when I've been when I've tar when I've specifically targeted congas. Um, I have been snapped off on a hundred pound line as well. I've snapped one. I'll try to how long ago is it now? It'll be about four or five years ago now. Maybe four years ago, I was targeting them on a certain mark, and um, I only had a hundred pound line. But I've landed eels up to twenty five pound on a hundred pound line before. Um, so obviously I was confident enough to get anything else in. And uh, I got this fish on, and. Uh, I'd say it was thirty plus. Like it was a, it was a really big fish, the biggest fish I've ever, I've ever hooked in, hooked into. On the same mark, a guy who I was fishing the club match with, he lost one on there, probably the same, similar size, about thirty plus. Um, but his, his hook just pulled out because it was that much tension. Mine, the old just, the old just bit it off, clean, clean. Like well, not clean. It took ages because I got it to my feet. My gaff was behind. I couldn't get my gaff, so I was just trying to get it onto the rock and. It, it just bit my line off like and away it went but it's the biggest fish I've ever hooked in around these around this set these this course like it was a monster uh, so but I mean the chances of catching catch, getting hooked in was still that size I'll probably be waiting a hell of a long time because there's not many other them about here uh, so that comes down to there same track right trim off at the swivel any cod I catch on these traces, by the way, around here, they're obviously not going to snap on this nowhere. So uh, that's um, that's all well and good. Another two, uh, three or six amount of extra hooks. So I've, I've landed cod on, well, just in the boat, not far off nine pound on these hooks. So the whole out, and as I say, I've had those up to fifteen pound on them on these hooks. So they're very reliable hooks. Seven. Like that. There we go. And then bang and knot that. Trim that off. And that will come down like so. There we go. Same crack, just a mud just picture your your bear being on there, like dunno, a bit of lug, fish bear or whatever. Just imagine it's sitting there. And just twist it around two or three times and then jab the bait into the to the bottom part of the bait and then just clip that onto your to your swivel whatever it may be but i like um the gemini's because i like i like the clip on them because um obviously it's nice for clipping down and then uh there we have it there's uh, another pulley rig absolutely cracking rig for, for rough ground and the power line i'm using it's what you need to ideally 
don't know what the boys use of it in North East for um for their cod, but I imagine it will be heavy as this, I would say. So there's um I hope um I hope everyone who 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 hasn't made pulley rigs before has learned something. Um so uh, it's, it's it's not it's not a, it's not a hard rig at all to use. Um where are we at now? November, December, January, February, March. About four months time, three or four months, well, about four months time, I'd say. Where are we now? November, January, February, March. Three or four months time, I'd say four months. Um, obviously, I'll be back on the place. The place is one of, the favorite, one of my favourite fish to catch, if not my favourite, with light gear and stuff. And um, obviously, in that time, I'll show you all how to make um, my basic place rigs off the pier. Just a two hook flapper rig, um, it's quite a simple rig, but on the beaches, if you're fishing at distance, I'll show you how to make um, like pulley bomber rigs and things like that to put a bit out of distance for them. Like I said, I can only cast 100 yards, so I say a distance, it's not that far for me. Well, for well for big casters, I should say. So, yeah, um, so I'll, I'll be out, um, I'll be out fishing on Sunday down the cliffs, I hope. Um, so I hopefully can bag a nice cod. It looked like a lovely tide today, and it, the wind's blasting tomorrow as well. So, and it dies away a little bit on Sunday. So, and then I think it's given calm all week next week. So, I, I don't, I won't be doing much fishing next week, or when the, well, if any fishing. So, yeah, and um, so I hope you've all learned something. And uh, I'll catch you hopefully on Sunday with a nice cod. So, I'll catch you later.